Hi, I'm Arbel from Job Test Prep, and in this video we'll talk about the Caliper Assessment. The Caliper Assessment is a personality and a cognitive exam given by employers to potential employees. The overall result of the test is also known as the Caliper Profile. It will give your employer an overview of your personality so they can decide whether you're the suitable candidate for the job. On top of that, the Caliper Assessment adds your cognitive ability to create a complete profile of both your traits and competencies. As it assesses both personality and cognitive ability, the test has two sections, one for each topic. Let's go briefly over the content and structure of these sections. The items on the Caliper personality section have two main forms. Some questions contain four statements and request you to choose the one statement that best or least reflects your beliefs. The other type will be formatted like seven degrees of agreement questions. Your answers to these questions will determine the personality portion of your score. The main goal of the cognitive section is to assess your ability to draw general rules from particular cases. For that end, the test uses two types of questions. The first is figural reasoning questions, that is, questions dealing with shapes and patterns. These include mostly serious questions in which you will be asked to complete the missing shape according to a certain pattern, analogies questions in which you need to find the relations between different shapes, and matrices, in which you are required to complete the missing shape in a matrix. The second type of questions in the cognitive section are pattern-finding numerical questions, better known as number series questions. These are some of the most dreaded questions in the world of psychometric testing and require quite a lot of practice to do well on, even if you're good at math. Here are two tips that will help you maximize your ability to reach a desirable caliper profile. Know what is required of your position. That is essential for the personality section. You should learn and anticipate what is the required profile for someone in your desired position. Once you do, you can better understand what your employer expects to see. Are you applying to a customer service position? Your interpersonal skills are highly important for that job. Going for management, problem solving and leadership are much more important. Focus on caliper style questions. When practicing the cognitive ability sections, many candidates think they must be prepared for anything and so waste their time and effort on thousands of practice questions in dozens of subjects. Don't do that. Focus on the types of questions specific for the Caliper assessment to maximize your performance in these. At Job Test Prep, we have implemented both these guidelines into our Caliper assessment preparation pack, job-specific personality profiling practice tests, and cognitive practice tests that focus only on types of questions on the actual test. Want to learn more and see some Caliper sample questions? Check out our webpage, the link is in the description. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed and learned. Now it's your turn to practice. Good luck.